This is Ryan Ham here, and what you see before you is a Ruger 2245 Mark III with the ultralight upper, and it has a nasty loaded chamber indicator. What I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to you two ways of disabling the loaded chamber indicator. Um, one is free, and the other one is slightly more costly. The reason you want to disable this is because it's got this cool little finger here that sits up in the path of the bullet and can induce jams. Now when the bullet, uh, when the cartridge is in the chamber, uh, it's supposed to pop this little indicator out that says, hey I'm loaded! Uh, but uh, what it tends to do is it tends to annoy people. Loaded chamber indicators are just cheats. The proper way to test if a chamber is loaded is to withdraw the slide slightly, see if there is a cartridge. To see if it's unloaded, you need to empty the magazine, pull the bolt back, and check the chamber. Uh, so loaded chamber indicators are uh, a poor substitute for proper gun handling, and that's why I prefer not to have one there. So I'm going to show you how to disable this. And once you've got it disassembled, and you're in this position, there's a little pin there. And that pin is what holds the loaded chamber indicator on. It's usually in there very loosely, and you can just kind of tap it. And this one is going to prove me a liar. So let me grab a, a, a more substantial tapping device here. There you go. Okay, just tapped on it a few times and that comes out. And then uh, with that pin pulled out, you uh, see the loaded chamber indicator assembly here, otherwise known as an LCI. And there's a spring, and there's a little metallic finger there, and then there's another spring here. There we go, take that little metal part out. Um, Inserting the loaded chamber indicator just like that back into the gun solves the problem, disables the loaded chamber indicator function, and everything is hunky dory again. So, there you go. Back in, loaded chamber indicator back in. It will not function to induce jams. It is no longer in the path of your cartridge as your cartridge is uh, being chambered and you're good to go. That, however, is not the best solution. And the reason I say that is because it says loaded chamber indicator. So somebody who's not a professional at gun handling or somebody who's new might look at that and say, well, that loaded chamber indicator doesn't say anything, so the chamber must be empty, even if it's got a round in it, and uh, they could discharge the gun and hurt somebody if they are not following any of the other rules, because they've already broken that one. I've got a solution for that, too, that's also free. Yeah. I'm using a uh, plastic mallet. So, once you've got this out, you set that loaded chamber indicator in a vise, and you file <laughs> the words loaded chamber indicator off the top, reinsert it in the gun, and it no longer says loaded chamber indicator and everybody is happy, right? Of course we know the answer is, uh, is not right because I've got another fix for you. Uh, what you can do is you can go online and find fillers for the slots, and there's one made uh, by a guy named Bruce Patza, He's in Seymour, Wisconsin. I bought two because I have other uh, 2245s. Here's what you get. I bought two kits. There you go. And the finish appears to be roughly semi-gloss. That's a very tight fit, but a very close match. So let me... All you have to do is once you get it lined up, uh, just insert that set screw in like yeah, into the slot and uh, should be good to go. And the problem I was having was it needed to be fitted a little bit. This back end was was not quite up to spec and it was sticking out a bit. Uh, but now that it's in, 
uh, you can see it uh, fits fairly flush and I'm happy with it fills up the slot and I should be good to go it's uh, made out of stainless steel kinda matches the finish so we're back and you can see everything together the loaded chamber indicator is gone and well it's not gone it's uh, sitting right here but uh, don't intend to ever have to put that darn thing back on and uh, I've done a couple of other things in some other videos I've uh, removed the magazine disconnect so now uh, the thing pops three pops free on me and uh, I can actually fire the gun with the magazine out it makes a disassembly a lot simpler you can see I changed the trigger pin on it in another video I actually drilled that out with a number 19 drill bit uh, and I uh, put a uh, put a notch in the drill bit cut it off <laughs> and uh, I'm using the drill bit as a trigger pin which makes for a lot tighter tolerances and I put some shims in there to keep the trigger from wiggling side to side and uh, finally I removed some plastic at the bottom of the grip and what that does is that helps the magazine seat a little bit better it sticks down a little bit further and it makes it makes magazine changes a lot quicker especially with the magazine disconnect gone I enjoyed making this video if you enjoyed watching it please click like favorite subscribe share comment whatever you'd like to do this is Ryan Ham goodbye